Mopping up the deals like I'm mapping out the plans. Do the money there, hella been a shaking hand. Since she fell in love, so I took her out the friends. We gon' have a time and a good around here. Yo, it's got a big mouth, and she foolin'. Tryna get you stopped out, be goin' it. Got the whole click now, nigga. Who's goin' it? Speaking up the net now, what do you do? Smoke now, talk about the guys. Pull up off like. What's up guys, the TechSpot here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to play your Xbox Series X and your Xbox Series S games anywhere on your iPhone and iPad. Also, if you do want the Halo Master Chief wallpapers on my iPhone, they'll be linked down below in the description, right below that amazing like button. And I will also be showing you guys a few tips and tricks to record gameplay and take screenshots that save directly to your camera roll in full HD. Alright, and now we're off. Now the first thing that you want to do is open up the app store on your iPhone or iPad, tap on search, and in the search go ahead and type in Xbox just like that. It's the first app that shows up and this is the Xbox app that makes it all happen. Anyways, tap on download and we are downloading. It'll take a second and boom just like that. It is done. X out of here and there's the Xbox app which can move to whatever page that you want. And there it is, the Xbox app that makes this all happen. Anyways, open it up, and this is the startup screen. And just like that, it says manage your console and connect. So just tap on sign in first, and sign in with the same account that you used to sign into your Xbox account. So it's the same one for your gamer tag. So let's go ahead and just tap on the account and enter the password. I already have it in Face ID. So again, it's the same account that you used to log into Xbox. And you have to be connected to the same account for this to work. Anyways, you can add me, it's Tax Spout, and we can play some Halo together. I will be starting up my gaming channel again. Anyways, it says, let's get you set up over here, and let's tap on Next. And over here, I tap on Allow Notifications and Allow Again, because they don't really spam notifications. And over here, it's asking to add friends. I'm going to hit Not Now, and I'm going to hit Not Now once more time. Now, over here, it asks you to set up your console from the get-go. But if you're not at the screen, I'm going to tap on the X, show you where you go. But you guys can see, this is the main Xbox interface. And before we go to set up our console, there is one major thing that you need to do on your Xbox. So go open up the settings and then go down to devices and connections and then remote features. You want to make sure enable remote features is checked. And the first time you check it, it'll say testing or setup. This part will take some time. And once it is finally done, it might have some errors like for me, you guys see for the network. But simply hit next and close and it'll still work, don't worry. And we can exit out of there and that part is done. Now back on our iPhone, what you want to do is tap on this tab right here with the little library. And we can see all our game caps right there. Anyways, tap on consoles and their console will pop up right there. Anyways, tap on remote play on this device, which is where we're going to be tapping on. We can also open remote control and manage console games as well. But we're going to be opening up remote control. Anyways, it has a friendly reminder that this works best on 5 GHz wireless connection. We're just going to tap on continue. This still does work on 2.4 GHz and even LTE. But again, it just works best on 5 GHz. Anyways, tap on OK to connect to local devices on this network. And just like that, it's now loading up. And it's pretty quick. Now you guys can see it says connect to controller. And if you're further away from Xbox, you want to connect your control with the Bluetooth on your iPhone to make sure it still works. But this does not have any touch functions that you guys can see. So you have to use controller. And if you're right next to Xbox, it will work right away. And you can see I can load up Halo Infinite and it's so cool with the Xbox controller. Anyways, it's loading up and you guys can see that it has the same response time as the actual Xbox. So my Xbox hooked up to my monitor and they're both loading up at the exact same time, which is absolutely ridiculous and amazing. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and connect my controller to my iPhone because if you're farther away from the Xbox, the controller will stop working. So if you want to be anywhere in the world and still have your controller connected, go to up to settings, tap on Bluetooth. And now on Xbox controller, hold down the sync button and the Xbox button together simultaneously until it starts blinking rapidly. And once it does, it'll pop up in your settings Bluetooth right there, so Xbox Elite Series controller or whatever Xbox controller that you have. And you guys can see now the Xbox controller is connected via Bluetooth. You can also play your iPhone games using an Xbox controller. But anyways, I can open up the Xbox app and now it is loading up. And you guys can see Halo's back and now I can use my controller and play anywhere on the go. Even if I'm in a different location completely, if a different state or universe, if I have Wi-Fi, I could still play. You guys can see it works really, really smooth. I can even go through my characters and it works just like it is working on Xbox. And it's just nice and satisfying hearing this audio come from an iPhone. 
Anyways, here we are outside. I'm going to just put my iPhone into the snow. And now we are playing some Dungeon Defenders. And just look how cool this is. You can be anywhere at a coffee shop. Play your Xbox. Make sure you have good internet to make sure it's more stable. But again, it does also work on LTE as well. It looks absolutely insane. And yeah, we're back on Dungeon Defenders over here. And you can see we're playing in the studio. And just runs, looks, and sounds amazing. Now, here's a very cool tip and trick. So you hold down on the share button. And this pops up, allow screen recording in Xbox. So all you gotta do is click on record screen. And now it is recording my gameplay. I'm sure many other YouTubers did not tell you about this, but it is a really cool feature. All you do is hold down the share button and it will start recording your gameplay. Now you can hold down again and it will stop recording and it'll save directly to your photos, which is absolutely insane. You can also go ahead and double click to take a screenshot and boom, just like that, you are done. You can go and swipe it away or tap on it to edit the photo. So just double click for a screenshot and a hold down for recording gameplay, which is amazing. Now, here we are in the photos app, and you guys can see it saved all the photos and videos of the gameplay. And it records in full HD, so if you do not have space on your Xbox and you want to record gameplay on the go, you can still record on your iPhone, which is absolutely insane. And I love this feature a lot. It works super well integrated with the iPhone and Xbox Remote Play. And another great thing about this is that it runs very smooth and there's not really much latency. It runs like it's running on your actual console. Now, if your Xbox is off, you could still be anywhere with your iPhone and iPad. Launch the app. Your Xbox will turn on automatically and you will be able to connect just make sure that your xbox is not in the power mode where it fully turns off just so it can communicate over wi-fi now i'm gonna turn off my wi-fi and connect to lte to show you guys how it performs now on lte you may get some network issues but it usually is still able to connect it's not as smooth as running on wi-fi but i can say that it is still very playable so it's loading and it over here brings the trying to reconnect interface and all I got to do is reconnect and after reconnecting I can see now it's loading into the game which is super cool and again this is over LTE so all I'm just going to do is wait and now the game is playable and it does play pretty smooth when it works it could be a little bit jittery at times but for the most part it just works really really well and I'm playing through LTE check that out that's so cool and yeah look how beautiful it looks it's running in a great resolution now to turn off the Xbox you can simply just close out of the Xbox app or if you're like me and you want to make sure that your Xbox turns off just hold down on the Xbox button on your controller and then turn off console from there, after some time, the connection will time out and it can close out of the app or it can just close out the app right away. Alright guys, so that's how you can play your Xbox games anywhere on your iPhone and iPad as along with recording your gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed and found this video helpful. A like would be much appreciated and subscribe for many more cool tech videos. This is The Tech Spot. Peace. Back. And I'm going, and I'm going, and I'm going. Yeah, I'm going. And I'm smoking, and I'm smoking, and I'm smoking. Mm -hmm. And I'm choking, and I'm choking, and I'm choking. Yeah, I'm doing that a lot. Uh. Gotta get this new drop. Gotta yeah. get it. Gotta move in this desert. Uh. Gotta move